In this Chopcast review, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Chopcast. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll provide a discounted link so you can get your money's worth. Chopcast is a software that allows you to cut long form content into shorter clips to post on your social media. Now, once you first sign in, you have this dashboard page. Now, this dashboard page doesn't have much. It'll only have either your folders or your clips that you've uploaded yourself, essentially. The way to get a video uploaded, as we can see that I've obviously put two of these videos here, we click on new and either make a folder or you upload a video. So, upload a video, we put a YouTube link here, or you can upload one from your device right here. And quite literally, once you get those links or the clips into this, this file, then your videos will be uploaded and they'll appear here. Now, this is what I dragged from my own laptop, just something I already had downloaded. And this is a clip off YouTube from Indeed. So what we can do with these clips or these videos, I should say, first, let's click on, let's click on the YouTube one. Now, okay, I've created a new clip from Imp. So what this does now, we have this full video right here of an Indeed interview with tips, essentially, that they're giving you for the most part. Now, we can turn a section of this long video into a clip. And what we can do is get that clip to be filled with subtitles, text of our own, or images of our own too. So you can see here, we're on the subtitles margin. And right here, it's showing us everything that's said in this video. So arguably the most crucial part of the job search and interview can make or break an opportunity. So to help you really prepare, we're going to dissect and analyze an entire interview from start to finish. So if you have the subtitle shown up on the screen, how many words can appear in one line? And you have to be careful with this depending on the framing and the size of the video. So again, you can edit these subtitles if you want to, I'm sure not all of it is completely accurate, so you can go through it and find anything that's inaccurate and change it for the better. And what's interesting as well, what's interesting, it updates as we can see there. And also you can place the text, you can analyze it, so you can align it to the left, align it to the center or the right itself. You can embolden a lot of these subtitles if you wish to. You can italicize them or underline them the same way you can edit any kind of text when you're on Word or any software that allows you to create your own text. An interesting thing with this video, we can actually browse through speakers here. So that's speaker 2 and speaker 4, naturally. So we'll get rid of this widget real quick. So firstly, you can analyze, you can cut down the clip that you want to be cut down. So here, we say we only want this section. So 42 seconds, it's updated it successfully for us. 40 seconds right here. And we have speaker one, speaker two right there. And again, we can tailor to each speaker. Then we can go to topics as well and just tailor to whichever topics are being talked about. So again, do you want to create a new clip or update the current one? We'll just update the current clip right there. So we've pushed it to this section. We'll update it as you can do that without having to start all over again. You can go through topics and you can search for keywords as well. You know, I've searched of seekers, which would normally come up here if we had the whole thing, but it's not in this section with click. But you can search up a keyword if you want to, and it'll find that keyword and map you to that portion of the clip. Then you can go through filters as well. And essentially, again, just filter out any parts you want. Yeah, lock into any moment of the clip you want to as well. And just essentially, get through it through a nice filter and you can see one clip down here as well that we can utilize you can also resize the video footage as well so you have 16 by 9 which is here we have 9 by 16 a one for one ratio right there so we're already on 16 by 9 but if you simply click on those you can just click apply and the whole video would change to fit that resolution size then you can go down, you can add text to the clip as well if you want to. So, you know, cool text goes here, you just put it in there and you can move it around. 
Again, you know, you can edit whatever you want. You know, nothing interesting. We're saying Cortex goes here too. Again, it'll obviously be something useful for your clip or useful for whatever you're trying to advertise. But it's just nice to have this cool font and cool graphic actually that can be put to the video if you wanted to do anything a little bit more creative with it. And edit the color as well, so you can make a blue. I quite like blue, I'm a big fan of blue. So, you know, that's one that's updated successfully. Again, you can go through these different texts as well. You can put this one in. So you can put more than one, essentially. You know, we have these right here. I've actually clicked on, I've double clicked on it twice. But again, see that? That's the orange right there. Then we have blue right here again. So you can put more than one tags on the screen and move them around, edit them however you see fit, and change the the text that's actually on them as well. So that's quite a useful feature to have. Then you can also add images onto the video as well. If you have any images from your file, so let's say I want to add this logo. The logo is right here. We put the logo just there for you to see. Again, we can see we can make it larger, smaller, whichever we want. You know, you have to be a bit surgical with it and get into it. But uh, nonetheless, you can always enlarge it or shorten it and make it just, you know, fit right there. If you want a logo for your um, video, you can't completely edit the image or edit the logo because, you know, I think that might be a bit too much of a software, which is unfortunate, I think, because it'd be nice to have a few more features with the image or the logo I add to the video. But I'm happy that it can let us add it anyways. So once that's done, you click export and you can export it as an mp4 file or an mp3 file naturally the mp4 file allows it to be a video footage so you know people can watch it it's a video itself a video clip you're uploading or if you put an mp3 if you export it as an mp3 then that's going to be an audio listening clip and that'll be something if you want to advertise a podcast a certain audio of any interview you have It'll be quite useful to do with the MP3 one. But you choose right there for you. If going back to the main page, you have these two right here for you. If you click this, you can see the clip we've just created right here for us. We can duplicate it, we can delete it, we can edit it. We can do the things provided for us with the clip as well. And again, once you want to create a new clip, you click on that and you're taken right back here where you can create a new one all over again. And hopefully, once you shorten your longer video into a nice simple clip that we've done here, you can post it on your social media and have it looked around by all kinds of people. Overall, I believe Chopcast is a very effective software to use. It's very intuitive. It's really easy to wrap your mind around as well. It doesn't complicate anything it's trying to tell you. I do wish I had a few more features available, such as the ability to edit the image you've put onto your video. But other than that, it's a reliable software to use and I can recommend it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll provide a discount to links so you can get your money's worth. Thank you for watching.